Hi, welcome back. I'm Sherry with Ratchet Up Your Art, where we take the ordinary to the extraordinary and provide a different perspective along the way. And today we're going to use briars to make patterns and designs on our jelly plate. So keep watching while we ratchet up your art. The first pattern I'm going to show is how to create diagonals with your brayer. Most people do not think of creating patterns with their brayers. So here I'm just going to use this smaller gel plate. For this technique, I am using multiple brayers, just two sizes, the four inch brayer and the two and a half inch brayer. By creating patterns on your gel plate, think of it as a good background to start from in which you can build layers because jelly printing is all about creating layers. Now I'm using a Baron to ensure that I have gotten all the paint here to the paper. I will have a video on Barons that I'll be creating. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so that way you'll be notified when I create that video. Here is the diagonal. For this next pattern, I'm going to do color blocking. And this is just where you just add color to your plate in different areas. To create an interesting background. And then you can kind of blend them in. And this is what I call color blocking because you're blocking off different areas of color. Looks like we got some diagonal that came through, but that's okay. That's all part of the jelly printing process is it's like a box of chocolates. You just never know what you're going to get. The next pattern I'm going to attempt to create is a spiral square. And I'm just going to start at the edge and then I'm gonna work my way in. Now for this technique, I'm gonna stay with the smaller brayer Let's see what we get here. So a little bit of a spiral. We started here, went this way, and then we went here, and then we went there. So this is our spiral background that we created. Keeping with the smaller brayer, I'm going to attempt to do a heart shape. We'll see how that goes because the brayer has square edges and it's going to be hard to make circles, but we'll see what happens. That's not turning out right. This side of the heart is not that good, but we'll make it work. <laughs> this does not look like a heart. Oh, wow. Jelly printing isn't perfect. If I had a, a thinner brayer, it might be a little bit easier. We could try my one and a half inch. I don't think it's gonna turn well, but we'll see what happens. Looks like I need a little bit more paint. This looks like a giant mess. I think I'm gonna add some of this green the background and see what kind of pattern we got here well that was an interesting background i, I like how we pulled out some extra grunge paint off the plate 
we got a couple more patterns we're going to try, so keep on watching. So this next one should be pretty easy. We're going to make some squiggly lines. And I'm using my smaller brayer. So experimenting with your brayer can be a lot of fun. Most people just use their brayer to put paint on their plate. Here I'm just experimenting, making different backgrounds with my brayer. I don't know how the paper got wrinkly there, but it did. But that's okay. It'll smooth out. So there's my lines. Which will probably be a lot easier is if you did straight lines, of course. So, you know, you can always go in there and do your typical straight line. There's this one as well. Now what I love about this is that I'm pulling up paint from the plate. And so I'm getting some interesting effects on my prints. To recap, let's go over the prints that I created. With my brayer, I created the traditional straight lines. Then with my smaller brayer, I created wavy or curvy lines. Then, my sad temp at a heart. Wah, wah, wah. It'd probably be better if I used a smaller brayer to start with, or even a smaller one than this. Then I did a spiral square, where I went this way. Then I went through here this way and then the blue so that's the spiral square then I did some color blocking which is basically just mixing colors in the same color family together on the plate to create an interesting background now what you see on the print is also a remnant a ghost print of the diagonal which was the first print I created so I just created with my brayer a diagonal pattern I hope you enjoyed all those patterns and designs I made with the brayer. And I would really like to see what you make with your brayers onto your jelly plate. So go ahead and tag me on my Instagram account at Ratchet Up Your Art. And if you really enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe. It would really make my day. And thank you for watching Ratchet Up Your Art.